Okay, so I would like to start with reading one verse from the ancient text of Kabbalah, the book of the Zohar. The book of the Zohar is not just the source of the wisdom of Kabbalah, but it is where all the energy of the wisdom was coded, was concealed. You can close your eyes while I'm reading the Aramaic, or you can scan the letters with me. Those of you who know, every week I'll post the verse that I'm going to use at the Weekly Energy Boost session on Facebook. We have a group, Weekly Energy Boost, this is the name of the group. And every week I post any verse or any part of the writings, ancient writings that I'm using for the session during the day, during Monday. So you can always have the access to the verse, or if I use other writings, even before the session. So I want you either scan, either close your eyes, We'll explain what this verse talks about and how is it connected with the energy of the week and what is the work, the spiritual work that we can focus on in order to take advantage over the opportunity the universe is giving us this week. Okay. Rabbi Shimon, the author of the Zohar, writes, When the inhabitants of the world better their deeds below, judgments are mitigated and removed, and mercy stirs and overpowers the evil which arose from the judgment. When in Kabbalah, when the Zohar talks about above, Below, we don't talk about physical dimensions. We talk about spiritual ideas. Below would represent everything that is coming from the vessel point of view, our actions, our deeds. Above would represent the frame of the energy that exists or being drawn from the metaphysical aspect of this universe that can be an effect of our actions. We heard many times before that the universe works as a mirror. And whatever energy eventually we face in life will be energy that is being drawn as an effect of certain ways that we behave. So if the universe is a mirror, when I act with mercy, Mercy means kindness. When I act with kindness, what the universe will reflect back over my life will be energy of kindness. When I act with judgment, let's say that judgment means lack of kindness, this eventually what will be drawn into my life. Many people would ask about situations of different individuals that they see around them, that they don't exactly act in the way that eventually energy being manifested in their lives. Some people can be really that kind with other people. However, it seems to be everything is amazing and fine in their life, that they don't encounter and face judgment, a certain type of negativity. But this is something that Kabbalah answers in a very simple way, because this is part of the illusion of the way this physical world operates. And the physical world, cause and effect, don't come together. Cause and effect can have distance, can have space between them. But eventually, whatever you put out there, this what creates for your own experience. Will it be tomorrow or in 30 years? In a spiritual level, it doesn't really matter. It's already there. When there is time between the cause and the effect, in one hand, it creates a big illusion as if I can keep acting one way while life behaves with me in a different way, and it works. Someone might see that manipulating in business, you know, is the key to gain success, and they see success after success after success. What they cannot see, it's what eventually will happen. Things don't happen suddenly. The fact that things change in a sudden way is part of the illusion of time. When a person conducts their lives in a spiritual manners, in spiritual ways, they start to realize 
the time that separates between the cause and the effect is actually works for our, our benefit. How come? Since as a human being, I know I'm not perfect. So I might fall into different reactive paces. I might say different things that might hurt other people, not because I have bad intention, but it is just part of being imperfect human being. And time, when one conducts their life in a spiritual way, helps the individual to develop high level of awareness of themselves. And therefore, before the effect of their actions would appear in their life, they have the ability to change. When you change, it is not simply that you change the way you behave because you got new realizations. What happens in most spiritual unseen level, in another dimension, when you change, you tap to a different cassette. Now, there are many cassettes of your destiny. When you tap into a different cassette, the effect of the negativity that we created, that is still there, is still there. But since we tapped into a different cassette, we would never meet each other. When you experience true transformation, negativities that we created because of being an imperfect person would not affect our destiny. But this requires work throughout the time between cause and effect to recognize what is it that you want to change.